Hello gorgeous souls, I hope you're having a beautiful day and uh, I just wanted to take a moment to speak into this um, because it's something that has been coming up as a, a topic of conversation um, uh, in uh, in my realm <laughs> and it's so important to really understand the difference of this. I remember years ago having a conversation um, with a beautiful client of mine and we were checking in on her self-love commitments for the week and she said, yes, yes, I've, I've, I've done my self-love, um, I had a bubble bath um, you know, it was good to, to take that time out in the bath. And I said, oh, that's really good. I said, uh, were you able to like relax? Like, what did you find? And she said, well, actually, like I found it really hard because I was laying in the bath and I was beating myself up the whole time and I was feeling guilty and I was feeling bad uh, for, um, you know, taking that time out. And I know that's probably not um, a huge um uh, distinct difference between self-pity and self-love. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But I really wanted to speak into this because sometimes we think we're doing something that is self-loving um, when in actual fact it's coming from a really, really different energy. Uh, and it's so important to be aware of this because, um, you know, self-pity um, sometimes can have our ego mind feeling like a victim, feeling that we're not good enough, feeling uh, bad, all of those things. And so we will look for direct and immediate comfort, which sometimes isn't actually what self-love actually is. It's not taking care of our body. It's eating the tub of ice cream instead of actually going, you know what, what would actually be the most loving and kindest thing to myself right now? And um, just speaking into that, like I know for myself, um, I used to be very, very much an emotional eater and um, it can be really challenging when that's actually going on. And I believe that we're actually conditioned um, to believe that food is a reward or that I deserve food. You know, I've had a bad day. I deserve the wine. I deserve the, um, you know, the chocolate or I deserve the chips or whatever it is. But we can mistake that for self-love and it's actually not loving anything that is damaging to the body is actually the furthest thing from self-love because self-love comes from that valuing self, valuing who we are, valuing our body, all of those things. And if we're acting in a way that is actually detrimental to our well-being, that is in direct opposition to self-love. But if we have been perhaps um, in you know a state of uh, despair or fear or anything like that we will look for things to numb and dissociate our emotions from and that's where really understanding it, it's never really about the action we can absolutely sit down and eat some ice cream uh, you know from a true place of self-love of going you know what like this just feels like fun and uh, I've taken care of my body in so many other ways this week and it feels amazing and you know what I'm just going to really enjoy this ice cream that is a very very different energy to feeling bad to feeling that we're not enough to feeling that we've let everyone down or we're feeling lazy or we're beating ourselves up in our own mind and then eating the tub of ice cream to try and make ourselves feel better or just to distract us or numb us out in the moment. I'm just using that as one analogy. Obviously, there's lots of different things that can go into that. It could be spending money on clothes. Uh, it could be drinking. Uh, it could be, um, uh, what's another thing? You know, uh, falling in the Facebook scroll hole. All of those things become really aware. Are you doing it to distract yourself from what you're actually feeling? Um, or as a way of trying to get the quick fix or the instant gratification? Or is it truly aligned for you? Because like, we can be spending money from a place of lack, fear, and feeling that we're not enough. So we're trying to make ourselves feel better through that particular behavior. Or we can spend money, invest money in ourselves because it's like, oh my gosh, I feel amazing within myself. And this now by wearing this or by buying this particular thing, this really feels like this is my new vibration and this is my new energy and this is who I'm stepping into and becoming. And this feels amazing as opposed to the different energy. So as I spoke about, it's all about the energy, not necessarily the action that you actually take. So really check in with yourself and ask yourself, are you coming from that place of feeling like a self-pity um, or victim? And again, there's no judgment. I promise you, there's no judgment. I've lived in all those places. I've been a victim for years. I um, you know, had a lot of self-pity and occasionally still can drop into self-pity. And 
at least now, thank goodness, I have the awareness to be able to pull myself out of that and to be able to go, okay, hang on. If I were truly, and this is what I would recommend you do if you notice that this is coming up for you, take down, you know, grab out your notebook or your journal. If I were truly loving, valuing and respecting myself at the highest level, what would I choose to do right now? That is going to be such a prominent and powerful question for you because you may find that it's like, you know what, I'd get up and I'd go for a walk outside in the sun or you know what, I'd get those things done or I'd take care of what needs to be taken care of or you know what, I'm exhausted, I'm absolutely going to have that nap and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. So all of those things by answering that question will be so powerful for you to be able to really start to identify where are you defaulting to old patterns um, of just trying to fill up an empty void that's from within that can only be healed through emotional healing not an external source such as drinking food uh, alcohol um, uh, spending money like all of those things or what is the most loving thing that you could actually do and it might even be writing a list you know three to five things that you love appreciate and value about yourself so have fun with that exercise and uh, drop your comments below like who resonates with this or what are you noticing what are your thoughts on this for yourself um, and perhaps you can share some inspiration um, with the other women in the group as well which would be highly valuable and just so appreciated as well because we've all had different experiences obviously in this particular area as well so getting clear what is the things that you do that come from uh, more that place of, of self-pity as opposed to true self-love and true self-value and true self-respect. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Hey, Helen, great to have you on, honey. And uh, Melissa, Facebook has only just shown me your name, so it's great to have you both here. And uh, yeah, I would love to hear below what really resonates for you and uh, what you can do this week to really support yourself to step into a greater place of self-love. And remember, it's always from the energy with which we're doing something, not necessarily about the action that we're actually taking. So have a beautiful day. Lots of love.